So, back to Grandstaff. What is he gonna do this time? He already froze everything over Ghost and destroyed Gotha. Know that you have brought catastrophe upon yourselves. Activate Grandstaff! Oh boy. Yes, sir. Creepy voice. So, once again, Grandstaff has un been unleashed. What's he gonna do this time? Summon some horrible creatures. We see the movie The Mist. Really bizarre and odd movie. Um, pretty interesting, but the whole like weird creatures in The Mist. Yeah, that's kind of what this reminds me of. It's like he summons creatures from some other dimension or whatever. But instead of coming here to destroy just the Golden Army, since it is Gangori, he doesn't care about anybody. These creatures are gonna end up wiping out everybody. That great. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I would want to fight them either. The city is on fire! Oh no! Why summon creatures to destroy your own city to get rid of soldiers? Hmm. Does this some, sound like something our military would probably do? Meanwhile, snow covered trail. So, with all that, we now continue on the story with. Cook and Mac. What have they been up to? Last we saw them, Kaiman, Kaiman Sarah, they were with Kaiman Sarah, the train crashed, and they. Broke the train apart in order to save the kids. Although the kids look like they're freezing to death, so how much did they really save them? You must wonder. Can't be good. No, back. Doesn't look like they're gonna make it. I mean, look at what Cook is wearing, anyways. Mac! Okay, so now we have Cook and Mac. Well, actually, just Cook here. So, remember when I said we're gonna have to eventually use Cook and Mac alone? Yeah. Well, here we are. Might as well equip some stuff on them. I don't think we might not have to, but... Actually... Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. So, you got this little segment here. All you can do is, with Cook, you just gotta walk towards Mac. And that's really it. Nothing special going on. Mac. Just don't fall asleep, okay? It's four degrees below zero. Yeah. Well, hold of me. Shouldn't Cook be the one that's freezing to death? I know she's cold, but how did Mac pass out first when Cook is the one that has those? Look! Look what Cook is wearing. Look what Mac is wearing. It, it just it doesn't make sense. Let's get going. So now we have both the characters. Um, I'm going to go ahead and equip Mac with nothing. Because he has the best one already. Circular dance ring. Okay. So, we're stuck with Cook and Mac. And now we got to walk across the slow, slow, slow. I don't know why they make you walk slow like that. I mean, I do know why. Because they're freezing. But this part can just be very boring and tedious and slow moving. Um, so all we're going to want to do here is head straight up. 
go from side to side, and all those flashing lamps you see, there's actually items you can grab from them. So whenever you see these flashing lamps, just walk up to them, grab the item, and then continue on. And this part can really, really get just dragged to death. Um, just because it's so slow, I wish I could move slower with Cook and Mac, but no! This is the speed I'm moving at. So one day we'll get the promise. But, yeah, as I was mentioning, folks, I had a hell of a week. Um, Amanda and her cousin came here to visit. Um, well, now I guess this will be uploaded. Yeah, this week. So last week, I should say. Uh, they came to visit. We went to the beach. Went to New York City. Went to Six Flags. Had a pretty awesome week. And um, sadly, they had to go. But, you know. Ah, uh, uh, there is battles. Okay, I thought for a second there wasn't any battles. So you do run into battles on occasion here. Uh, let me show you how the battle works. Ooh, Mac has a cool looking weapon on him. Mac is in the front row. Weak as dirt. So it's Cook. Glacier Fragment. So these things look like they'll probably be weak against some kind of a fire ability. Sadly, no one has fire. Let's use Shine. Let's see how Mac does with his uh, combo hit. Only 9 damage. Going for Mac. Cook. Eh, not so good. And we don't even have a thing on, so we don't know how much health they have. Oh. Come on, Cook. Okay, we killed one of them. That's not bad. Now we're going to go to the prayer, try to heal Mac up a little bit. Back to this so as I was saying, um, it was a fun week. You know, I didn't upload all the whole week because I was hanging out with them, and I don't regret it at all. So I had a blast. Back to work. Oh God, is it back to work? I'm not really that excited about it, but life moves on. What do you, what do you do? You know? Okay, good, good, good. Everyone's good on health. Attack. So. Yep, now my goals here for this month, the month of August, is to finish up this Let's strong. Play. I'm not sure how many episodes I would have left, so I don't know if it's possible, but I'm going to sure as hell push hard to finish it. And um, after I finish this Let's Play, I, I want to get my current projects done before moving on to anything. So I want to get this done. I got... Um, Wind Waker, which I really want to start pushing forward to that too because it's been moving slow. So I want to get Wind Waker moving and hopefully done by the end of the month as well. Who knows? I'm not sure how long that's going to take. And Resident Evil Revelations is probably going to extend into September. Um, but once that's alone, and that's the only Let's Play I'm doing, I'm going to upload probably double the episode. So exciting times ahead. Um, things have been slow lately, I know. But it's okay. Just hang in there. And I promise you that things will be moving right along. Moving faster. And I'm sure this, the rest of this year is going to just absolutely fly by. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, you want to come up here for two treasure chests. Um, I think one of them should be... Yeah, that's just a seed. I thought there was a power, power slot here. Seed slot, I should say, but I don't think that's. Yeah, it's not here. You could save if you want. Not gonna bother to. So we're just gonna continue on because I'm trying to record in a session. You know, at least an hour, an hour and a half session. So I really don't want to, you know, force myself go in and record right now. I mean, uh, save right now. But it's not necessary. I wish I could move faster with Cook, but she's so slow. So this is what we're gonna have to deal with a while. Continue. Could be quite a long segment here. If I sped it up, you know, it wouldn't have been so long. But uh, I don't mind keeping it slow just to kind of have you guys feel out the atmosphere of this place. Cook, Mac, no. 
Once in a while they move fast and they move slow. There you go, cutscene. Then, meanwhile, what's really cool about the, uh, this little section of the game, folks, is they kind of, if you notice, they try to peer people together. When you displace. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's actually a really beautiful music they put over here at this point. But they try to peer everyone together to try to kind of show off relationships, you know, brother and sister with uh, Mac and Cook, Kaim and Sarah are together. Um, you're gonna have Ming and Jansen here together, and then I guess Seth is alone, or they try to put her with, um, the whole Seth thing, who she, she finally found Seth. So, definitely a, a kind of interesting part of the game. And we're back with my favorite character of the game, Jansen. This music is a little odd. I never really felt like it matched this section of the game. I mean, I know why they put it, but it's just bizarre, because... You don't really hear music with words anywhere other point in the game, and I'm ruining the music completely by talking over it, so I apologize. I'll let you listen to it now. I'm sorry. So what more can I do? You know I thought I would be much stronger than I am, but then I feel the bone. That's inside my heart just melt away How I feel for you and what I want to say Keeps getting locked inside I like to make what you are Into someone Definitely bizarre There will always be but I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. I dreamed you were singing. At least I thought I was dreaming. Were you really singing? No. Yeah, I... It's not something I do in front of people normally. Well, what? Oh, no. What happened to your eyes? My eyes? The color's different. What's going on? I oh, had a dream. You mean your memories? Yes. Somehow, protecting you and releasing all that magic energy, it might have released the seal upon my memories as well. Nice. After all, I did seal off my own memories. You remember? That's... that's great! She sealed off her own memories? Uh, what's wrong? Are you upset about something that happened? Huh? So it wasn't Gangora? Kaim really hated his memories. He said they were nothing but painful. As painful as it is, I think it's my duty to regain these memories. Duty? What do you mean? Kaim likely had much more involvement with other people than I. He has seen much more of life than death. The weight of a thousand years can indeed be painful. Huh. But I want to look back carefully at all of those years. Uh, wow, a thousand years. That's really long. 
I can see how it could be bad. You know, have everything change except for yourself. That would uh -huh. be hard. Mm. You are incredible. To live a thousand years, simply incredible. I can't even imagine. Uh. A curse or a gift? Uh, here. I um, must wonder. Have some food. <laughs> This was uh, all there was. Uh, it's not fit for a queen, but uh, you know, it's keep what your strength that, up. Popcorn. Thank you. Shall we eat? I'm uh, okay. You go ahead. You need to get your strength back. You must be exhausted. You had to use a lot of magic energy to protect me. <laughs> but as a result, I finally know who I am. Thanks to you. Well, yeah, you know, I did what I had to do there. I just kind of sat there, and uh, you basically protected me. Gee, that was really embarrassing, actually. Oh, man. I don't want to remember that. <laughs> weird, weird form of flirting. Although hilarious. 